Welcome to Maine in the summer. We're going to talk about air conditioning. Now, what we're going to talk about is how to do an off-grid air conditioner so that you can put something in your camper, just drive wherever you like, not have to plug in. And we're going to talk about the beauty of doing that with ice because the phase transition to make water turn from ice to water takes an enormous amount of energy. That means that it can take an amazing amount of heat out of the air inside your camper. When you combine that with a small camper, such as the type we built here at Axle Camp, and all the square drops and all the teardrops and things like that, it means that according to these tests, you can go a number of days by just filling up a cooler with ice and then pumping that cold air into your cabin. This is part one, where we show you setting up the system and running it. Part two will be about testing it. And part three will be conclusions and advice and lots and lots of data. What's the logic of doing all this? Well, for a small camper or a square drop such as I build, a 5000 BTU air conditioner is kind of overkill. It'll do an entire room and you have to be plugged in. So this is about being able to boondock. Sometimes a fan is enough. Now what we're going to do is show John running through the system. So take it away, John. Hi, I'm John. I'm here at Axel Camp here in Richmond, Maine and talking about a new air conditioning system we're trying out in our campers. Um, we have all the components right here. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Uh, we've got a standard cooler. We fill this up with uh, whatever type of ice you want and a good amount of water to keep cold water circulating. And the custom box we use that holds a radiator, has a simple input and output um, from clear tubing. And uh, in behind that radiator, we mount a couple of these fans uh, hooked to our battery power with a dimmer so you can adjust your fan speed and get some cold air in there. So the hookup for the air conditioning unit, if you've had a chance to see the videos with it in action inside the Aero Camper, um, you uh, have seen the, the push button controls you have in the kitchen utility section uh, to turn the pump on. Um, so that's not in your living section, that's behind a partition. Uh, the only part in your living section is the radiator itself uh, mounted on the wall. And um, all that's all that's really required here are the hoses coming through the wall, um, headed back to your pump, um, and a real simple wiring uh, to the two fans, which we control by a dimmer, um, which can change the flow of the air, um, depending on how much you need when you get in there. And it's it's fairly sensitive. You can take it right down to nothing or really blast it out there. Um, and of course, condensation is a concern, so you need to to keep an eye on that while you're cooling it down as well. Um, and as I mentioned before, the connections are very easy. You can turn them on and off, um, add power, and you always have the switch in the back. Uh, so I hope if you have any questions, uh, you'll leave us a comment, ask us a question, and check out all the other videos. Thanks. I've just turned the air conditioning unit on um, just to show you the flow here. We've submerged the, the hose connected to the small pump, and this is the return. So this is the water that's gone through the radiator, radiator and come back out. It's simply coming back in here, being recirculated through, moving through all the ice as we draw that cold water out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you can like, subscribe, share, comment, that'd be awesome. Next week, we're going to talk about the test results and see how well this system works in part two. Thanks.